Alright, so what's going on YouTube? So, I think I mentioned in one of my other videos that I was going to be doing some updates to the controller. Um, basically, I had an issue with the wiring um, in on the back of the actual PC box. Uh, I used some VGA connectors and on the inside of the box there there was just uh, prongs that stuck up on the connector and I built pl a plug to go in on top of that well they they kept coming loose over time and would keep losing power and the screen either you know wouldn't have power or there was a glitch in the screen because one of the video cords wasn't making connection or the touch screen was off because the same thing wasn't making connection so I went in and I ordered some um, HDMI cables and went, went with HDMI uh, I could actually get a uh, female female connector and did not have to cut and build as many wires so it, it made it a lot better connection when I originally ordered the cords though I ordered some uh, nine and a half foot cords and those did not work the touch screen part did not like it the, the video part worked just fine but the touch screen would not uh, work correctly so I had to go back and reorder uh, some six foot I think they're actually six and a half foot cords and they work great the other thing that I did was on the the controller I I wanted to start using CO2 in the tank and dosing fertilizers without relays I could not do that so I, I already had built relay, a relay board into the box I just didn't have it hooked up so um, I spoke with Jamie and he actually had a, a version he made for himself that had some relays in it and uh, allowed me to have that um, to 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 work with but I also made some changes on my part so if you can remember on if you go back and watch my other video on the front screen where I had the uh, the whites changed this was still ultraviolet or purple from that and up here where it said moons it, it was still green for the sump so I figured out how to uh, make those adjustments and fix that then in the settings I was able to go in and fix the colors of, of these two again that was purple for ultraviolet or ul ultraviolet and the moonlight was for sump so it was green again um, I think I also changed it yeah I got this changed here and here for uh, for that so I, I was able to work on my stuff a little bit more and and clean it up but the the thing that I was really happy about was getting this right here so once again um, Jamie had just called this uh, uh, RLY1, RLY2. I went in and changed it to dose 1, dose 2, dose 3, CO2, and pump. Um, so that, that'll that be for those. I've, I've got most of the hardware except for the CO2 tank. So I need to get that. Um, 
and then same in here dose one all the way through so I you can basically you can leave it on auto or you can turn it on and off manually but for right now I've got everything off so this should work a lot better um, for me personally just for where I'm wanting to take my my big 225 gallon tank so basically that's all about I wanted to show um, I guess I grabbed the camera here off the stand and I'll show you behind the tank kinda how I done the dosing pumps and the connections for the HDMI cables as you can see basically I've got three dosing pumps set there I'll have I'll have my FERT bottles setting about right here with a hose going up and then I'll have a hose come down and go into this spot right here and the CO2 will come into this one but pretty simple just a just a box a little square box with these dosing pumps in them and then I've got a USB connector right there as you can see for the uh, for the HDMI's uh, it, it's just basically a, a plug outlet that you can order off of Amazon for I think it might have been like five or six bucks uh, has two female connectors but it, it's basically a wall plate and I took out the center part cut a hole into my case and put them right through there and makes it just a basically a plug and play all I had to do was create some pins to plug into the board and then on the back of the the board on the screen I just had to re-solder the wires into the uh, the correct um, pin and it, it was good the only problem I had was it does not like a nine and a half foot cord but six and a half foot seems to work fine so there's obviously a, a limit there somewhere that it it cuts off but that's pretty much it that's all I've done been working on this pretty hard trying to get my screen up and working um, it's pretty nice to have a controller but when you can't do anything on the screen it makes it really hard but give me a thumbs up leave me a comment Subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys later. Peace.